Hey there guys, it's Devin from CSN's Gaming Rush today. We are playing Kerbal Space Program. I know it's been a while, but um, I decided to play this game again because it seems like you guys have liked it. Um, and so we have gone into a career mode now, so we're not having everything that we used to have in Sandbox, but it'll hopefully be fun. So we have no science or anything, but we started, so that's it and if you don't know this how this game works it's where you have to collect kind of like these like mission things and do them so i'm sorry i'm going right jumping like right into this but i think that um it's kind of important that i do because i should probably do this quickly but um what we're doing is again like i said we're doing this so this is Kerbal Space Program, for any people who don't know. Uh, it's a game that's kind of different. It's like making rocket ships, kind of like this, but a little bit better. And then launching them off into the air. Like so. I don't even know why there's already explosion stuff there. There shouldn't be, but I guess there is, so. Let's f well, actually, wait. Let's record crew report. It's not gonna work, but okay, let me just turn on the throttle. Okay, this isn't gonna go too far, but whatever. All right, let's speed up the time. I think a few of I think a lot of my subscribers already know about the Carol Space Program. And what it is, I, I explained it in the videos before. So if you didn't see those, you should go see them uh, after this video. I'll, I'll, if you go see them now, I'm, I'll probably leave an annotation or if they are getting rid of them, never mind. I guess I'm not. So we just died. Okay. Okay. Let me just slow the throttle. Yeah. Aw. I was close that time. So, uh, what we're going to be doing, guys, is again, like I said, what we're doing. Okay, let's check. All right, let's then close that, and then launch our first vessel, and then close that. So now we're getting a little bit of science now. So let's save the game first, because it might crash at any second. Then go back to the space center, and now we can upgrade our um, our science stuff our research and development and we have 4.0 science which means that we can get basic rocketry which will unlock us oh I guess we're not this displays all the moons that every single area has I thought we'd be able to afford these two but apparently not Oh, uh, okay. Let's check. Wrong place. Oops. I haven't played this game in a while either, guys. So, like, I'm not really used to how this game would work. Because. That. But, this game is really fun. When you get, like, kind of into it. So, you have to get interested into the game. But now we can do this. Relaunch our rocket. And now our rocket should be a little bit more. Because uh, we don't even really need to spend that much money. We can just go in with just this and recover it. It only takes a few minutes. So watch. Just uh, where is it? 
crew report. Then we keep experiment. And then recover vessel. So now we grab science. We got both of these now. And we got a plus one re reputation. And we also have scientific data from Kerbin. And then this. Okay. I'll just go back to research development again. And we're going to see what do we want. And we can get this. Which means that we'll get all these, which will get the couplers. But we don't need those until we get these. So let's get this. Because how hard can rocket science be anyways? Can't be that hard. It's it's just rocket science. So, um, let's go in. And we're gonna go for, um, general rocketry next, which should be good. Um, and while I'm building this next rocket, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do, so I'm just gonna explain my thought process going on to this rocket. So, first thing we're doing is we're adding a fuel fuel tanks, okay? And these fuel tanks will just hopefully launch it far enough. Well, give it enough fuel that way it'll launch far enough that it can get propelled outside of our atmosphere. But before I do that, I should probably... Alright, let's put the swivel engine on. And then we're going to need uh, hammer solid boosters going over here. Oops, wait, let me turn on symmetry, three-way symmetry. It has to be below 18 tons, let's see. And let's add one more and drag these three down here. Yeah, that should be good. Because well, that'll get us past the atmosphere at most, but... Alright. And now I'm going to go back for just a second. I'm going to save this one. Go back. And we're going to just quickly grab two missions from our... Um, from our, uh, what's it called, a mission area thing, whatever this is, mission control, and we're gonna grab, uh, orbit curbin and escape the atmosphere. These will make it possible, that way we can get into the atmosphere, or well, get past the atmosphere, and if we're lucky, we can get into orbit, so let's just, uh, open this one, load, and then launch. So those will go up high enough, hopefully. I don't know. So let's launch it. Let's make sure everything's good. All the staging is correct. Everything is okay. Let's launch. Well, let me turn on SAS first. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Okay. Now we're going straight up, which is good. Those solid fuel will start going down, so I should probably press Z. And turn our throttle all the way up. I'm not going to speed up time because that'll mess up our thing. We're getting out to the first part of the atmosphere soon. Uh, I think this will thrust us far enough. All right, La launching off our second part of the uh, rocket, which will hopefully propel us far into the second stage of the atmosphere. If, if you can look up um, on the top, you'll see the atmosphere. And then this is slowly trickling down. And this is going up. We're going about a thousand kilometers an hour. Well, a thousand miles per hour. About. So let me just check the map. And uh, we should have escaped the atmosphere. If we're lucky. Yeah, totally. Or we're escaping it. Alright, good. Let's see, do we escape it? We're not losing too much speed, so I think we are. Yeah, we escaped. Alright. That was a solid burn, so we could have actually gotten to orbit if we wanted to. But we have successfully escaped the atmosphere. So we're coming back down. Which means we're gonna die, so... Rest in peace, Valentina. You lived a good life, but... 
it's time to die. So, um, we're escaping the atmosphere. What's it like up there? Fun, because you're coming back very soon. And escape the atmosphere goal thing, okay. So let, let, let's try to stabilize this and increase her chance of survival. Oh god, this isn't gonna work, is it? No, it's not. Right, maybe, actually. Nah, she's dropping too fast. She's gonna die. The rocket's just not gonna, like, cushion her at all. It's just gonna go... Yep. That was my bad. Uh, I should have bought the other one. That way I can get the other thing. Well, rest in peace, Valentina Kerman. Kerbin. You died, and you lived a great life, but you're dead now. Because I forgot. And I was stupid, and I forgot to get my parachute. <laughs> That's when you forget parachutes, and why they are so important. <laughs> if you don't, then you die, and you go on uh, from space. So let's now go, and we're going to go. And by the way, this is a quest to reach the moon. A space race, if you've ever heard of those. Alright, we can get this right here, which will add a lot to our um, science stuff. But we should probably get... We should probably spend on this, because this will give us a decoupler. Despite this giving us a slightly longer, uh, more, like, more useful fuel tank. And then this will give us survivability, which will add a lot of this stuff, which we need, in order to land back down. So that'll help. And then this right here, when we unlock it, well, it won't unlock parachutes, unfortunately. I think this is goes on to here. Unlocks, yeah, parachutes. These are, do these, does this already come with a parachute or no? Oh, well, I didn't realize that it already came with a parachute, but all right, we're gonna go up the path of general rocketry. So we're gonna get this, we get advanced now, and then we're gonna get general construction, which we need a stability, which means we need engineering. So engineering won't be a problem, but let's move on and let's keep going. All right, let's scrap this rocket and let's not forget that we have parachutes now. We already we always had them, but I completely forgot and I was I was being really stupid and I forgot we had parachutes. So all those innocent lives lost were for absolutely nothing. Great, absolutely amazing. That was entirely my fault. A few of you guys that already have this game, which I don't know if you do, you probably don't. But if you do, you're probably shouting at me saying that I do have a parachute. That was my fault. Sorry. But now we learned that parachutes do exist and we won't die from them. Okay. So, the um, T-45 is okay. The LVT-45 engine was considered a breakthrough in the LVT series due to its thrust vo vectoring feature. The L- the, I can't talk today. God, I can't talk today. The LV-45 can deflect its thrust to aid in craft control. These added mechanics, however, make for a slightly smaller and heavier engine in comparison to the other LVT models. This one over here, I'll both criticize, uh, by th whatever. In other words, this one has more of a... So this has more of a thrust in, new in um, kilonewtons, I think? Yeah. But this, and this one has less, but this one has more control. So, we don't need too much thrust, because we're going to be grabbing these guys over here. We don't have, uh, couplers, though. Which is kind of a shame. We have Mystery Goo, though, so... 
that'll help with science and stuff so all right let's uh add two stages now we're gonna move this one to the bottom stage just like that move this one to the top stage and like that if i go it's it's way too heavy i think yeah so let me go back for a second let me see oops okay save now go back and actually this should be good hmm <laughs> let's see uh we should have enough funding okay yeah we're good want to upgrade it then we won't have enough but this will work i think let's check our funding real quick okay we have nineteen thousand. We have one hundred ninety-six thousand dollars. Okay, we can launch this guy now. Yep. And I really wish I had gotten the decouplers, but oh god, what the heck? Uh, let's revert that flight. What the heck happened? What? I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> this rocket. What the heck? What? How? Huh? I have no idea what is going on. This rocket, like, what the heck? I don't know why that's happening. Maybe the top is, like, too light for it? Let's just make this by three then, I guess. Oh, uh, wait. These have to be raised up a little bit more. Like that. Well, it would be lowered a little bit. Because it was balancing on that one uh, thruster there. So it was kind of messing up a little bit, I think. Okay, good. Whew, that was scary. Yep, we're going up pretty straight actually, returning, but that's to be expected. I should have got I should have put like some wings on. All right, we're going to okay, we're going to slightly be turning a little bit, which is good. I'm actually doing this right now. Oops, RCS I turned on. Ooh. Oh god. I, those engines are running out anyway, so it's just good. Um you might be asking why I want the engines to run out. It's because they um they're right now turning a little bit. They're going pretty fast right now, so I don't I don't want that to happen. Um, throwing the throttle all the way up. So up, all right. These have stopped. I'm gonna wait for it to cool down a second, and we're going to go now. Start launching, and we're going to turn uh, sideways because now we're going pretty fast, and we went up in the air a little bit. So you might be asking again, why am I turning sideways? Just because. We're going already so fast that there wouldn't, there's no re reason for us to like go up anymore. And if you look at the globe right there, we're actually going up still, and our orbit is very close. We're very close to an orbit right now, and we're still pretty high on fuel. Oops, oops, we don't want to go under though. Right now we're in space. So let's actually, uh, so I'm gonna cut thruster for a second. I'm gonna check the map, see our orbit right now. Okay. Let's, we're not gonna get into orbit, but we'll get pretty far up. Uh, while I'm still up here. Nope, wait. I want to stay going this way. Now 
how it's not mattering, but we don't have an orbit. Sad. All right, but we're in space right now, so let's observe the mystery goo. Okay. Okay. The, the goo seems to have been clumped into a spear. It also appears to have become brittle. Which means that we can hold on to this. And then research this one. Okay. So let's speed up time until we start going back down. Okay, good. All right, let's activate our parachutes. Now, I just realized a problem. We have no way of turning, which means that we're gonna have to rely on our speed going up. Yeah, yeah, okay, good. Okay, that was scaring me a little bit. Parachutes deployed, we should land into the water and we should be safe. Nope. Oh. Oh God. Why? Why did I do that? What the heck? I'm trying. Let's go back to vehicle assembly and we just gotta add some more parachutes because it didn't slow down fast enough. Oh, why did I do that? <sighs> that was that was again my fault. I didn't add any extra parachutes. I couldn't have messed that up more. Now we lost funding, not too much, but we lost a lot, which is kind of annoying. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to research the um what's it whatever it's called while we're not accelerating so let's observe it okay let's keep that now we're going to let off the thrusters uh, let's turn it to full turn on sas nope rcs good that's not gonna that's not gonna help though all right i want to do a crew report Okay. Oops, that's not it. This one then. So let's observe this one. Okay. Keep that experiment. Okay, now we're in the second bit of the atmosphere, which means that our crew hatch should now have a crew report. Okay, let's keep that one again. Ooh, we're overheating a little bit. That's not good. Let's just try to lower that heat a little bit and now we're gonna start turning. Okay, and now we're gonna turn on our next engine. Which is going to fly us that way, which means that we have better control over our... But we're still really heavy, so it's very hard to control. So let's, let's turn that. Okay, we're spinning right now in the middle of space. That's, that's a great thing. There's the moon, by the way, the moon. Well, one of the moons. All right, let's turn off the throttle a little bit. Which means we have to push plus, 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 plus. Which means we have to do this, I think. Mm-hmm. About halfway should be good but I have no idea why we're spinning like that it shouldn't have spun like this I had pushed too hard on the throttle Ugh. completely messed this up <laughs> god we're gonna all right well let's do a uh...
Nope. There's no friction in space, which is kind of annoying. Let's uh, do a crew report. Okay. Mm hmm. We gotta click. All right, good. Okay, let's keep that experiment, and we're gonna be able to speed up time, I think. And that warp's gonna have us go really fast. So let's start taking in our parachutes. We're gonna go straight down. But so now we have a lot of control over our ship, or I thought we did. But it's apparent we have absolutely no control over our ship. And now we're now we're going straight down into our doom as we slowly plummet down to the ground. And oh well, I spazzed out. But we live in the end. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, oh, we sort of lived in the end. Most of the rocket is kind of dead, but we lived barely. Uh, okay, let's save. Let's save the rocket and recover the vestal. It now means so. Hopefully, yep. Look at that. Thirty-five signs from that one. That one launch. Two hundred three thousand and thirty reputation gained. Which means now we are able to purchase these. Which I really want to get the radio decouplers instead. Okay, well, I'm gonna get this real quick stability, which will unlock aviation, which is good. And we can also afford engineering. And if we're luck, oh, nope. Okay, so next goal in the next video, we're going to be aiming to get um, past that, like, kind of fourth kind of thing because we see this tree it actually goes really far out all the way over to this which is like aerospace hypersonic hypersonic flight experimental science all this stuff that's like uh, too complicated for me which will hopefully eventually make sense but like this stuff starts costing like five, a thousand, a thousand science, but we're getting there slowly. Okay, next thing we're gonna need is ninety science. Great. So guys, um, I really want you guys to comment down in the uh, comment section. Of course, no, not you're not gonna comment anywhere else in the comment section that if you that you want to see more of this. If you want to see more of Crystal Space Program, comment, and if you want to see other things, comment down. I'll probably be replying to most of the comments, so I'll try. I probably will, though, because I don't get that many comments. Sad face. Um, so, another thing. We're going to be doing other games, of course. I want you guys to request games in the comments. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, of course. And leave a thumbs up if you really like this video, and I'll make more. Um, I'll see you guys later. Bye.